Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all staying safe and you're excited for Christmas. I don't know about you, but I just love the buzz around Premier League games during Christmas. I'm sure a lot of football fans will agree that some of our fondest memories are during this hectic festive period. There's something special about it. And over the years, we have seen some really memorable clashes. It's a bit different this year, of course. There are some Boxing Day postponements, and I kind of expect a few more to be announced in coming days. So today I thought it'd be fun to actually throw back and take a trip down memory lane to normal times and reminisce on the 10 most entertaining Premier League matches played during Christmas. As usual, this list is in no particular order. I hope you enjoy this nostalgic video. So let's get straight into it. I think many of you will agree that this 10 goal clash has to make it on the list. In December 2007, good old White Hart Lane Stadium was full of fans and what a thrilling encounter they witnessed. Both Berbatov and Dave Kitson both gave us quite a show. I'm sure most will remember this game because of Berbatov's four goals for Spurs and the game also featured a really eventful 14 minutes where six goals were scored, four by Spurs, two by Reading. 10 goal thrillers don't come about often and this one had everything you could have asked for entertainment wise. Spurs manager at the time, Juan de Ramos, he said on a press conference that this game was 90 minutes of crazy football. Reading played brilliantly, but they just couldn't stop Berbatov who found the back of the net with ease. And you might remember a pretty controversial fifth goal in which Jermaine Defoe was clearly inside of the area during a penalty. Berbatov then went on to just seal the deal with the sixth Spurs goal, earning him the very well-deserved Man of the Match award. Right, another exciting festive fixture involving Spurs. This time a huge defeat against my team, Newcastle United. This is one of the biggest wins in my club's history, so it had to make it on the list. So St. James's Park witnessed an absolutely brilliant performance from our entertainers. Kevin Keegan on the sidelines, what I would give to watch us play a match like this now, honestly. So what made this match a special one? It was quite simply an incredible display of attacking and defensive football produced from King Kev. The lads played in perfect harmony with superb composure in front of goal, conceding just one goal in the last minute of the game and scoring seven, courtesy of Les Ferdinand, Alan Shearer and Rob Lee, who each scored a brace. And of course, special mention to Philippe Albert two. I guess you could say it came as a surprise to Newcastle fans that just a week after this huge win, Keegan resigned from his position, leaving behind a trophyless but enjoyable, memorable era on Tyneside. Sticking with the 90s, this result may surprise younger viewers. Yes, Coventry beat Manchester United and it was a roller coaster of a game. So Coventry took the lead early, but goals from Solskjaer and Sheringham saw Man United 2-1 up before the break. What looked like quite a comfortable win for the Red Devils was soon carnage in the space of two minutes. A penalty and one of the most amazing solo goals from Darren Huckabee gave Coventry the unexpected win. Okay, a bit of memory for me this game, but it happened during the festive period and it was indeed a thriller, so it has to make it on the list. Newcastle's defence was clearly still hungover from Christmas Day because we managed to let in seven. I think this 2013 squad was one of the best Arsenal have had since the Invincibles, not to forget they also won against Reading at the start of that 2012 season in a 5-7 thrilling game. Many of us will remember this Arsenal-Newcastle game as one of the best of Theo Walcott's career, you know he banned a hat-trick, but really what makes this a memorable one for me is the insane amount of second half goals. Eight were scored, absolute goal fest, at us magpies' expense. Now this draw was something else. Eight goals, three red cards, a late goal from Gareth Barry tied the game and just rescued a valuable point for Villa. This was probably one of the most craziest Christmas draws in Premier League history. A classic Boxing Day encounter at Old Trafford. This game had to make it on the list. So Newcastle took the early lead thanks to James Perch, but after a free kick, Johnny Evans managed to find the back of the net. 
Unfortunately for Man United, in the space of just a few minutes, he then turned from hero to villain after scoring an own goal to make it 2-1 for Alan Pardew's side. A strike from Patrice Evra leveled the game, but then Cissé scored the third. Then, just when it looked like us magpies were securing those three valuable points, Van Persie equalised and Chicharito scored the winner in the 90th minute. What a game. Will we see a repeat thriller like this on Monday? It would make a change given our recent performances, that's for sure. Yep, you're reading that right. Wigan 4, Man City 3. It was certainly a memorable one at the DW Stadium. A great performance from Wigan's Jason Roberts, who scored a brace to give them a really important win in their first season in the Premier League. Not to mention Joey Barton's incredible volley that still wasn't enough for City that Boxing Day. So after a poor first half of the season, Chelsea manager Claudio Ranieri, he saw this match as the perfect opportunity for redemption. However, things didn't quite go as planned for the Blues after losing to Southampton, who were at the time fighting to avoid relegation. So a game that started 2-1 for Chelsea, Southampton managed to come back, scoring three goals to make this game a Christmas special. Overall, you know, Ranieri had an eventful stint in charge of the Blues, eventually guiding them to that UEFA Champions League semi-finals and an FA Cup final as well. But this pitiful New Year's Day result at Stamford Bridge is a memory I'm sure he'd rather forget. Next up, another surprising Chelsea defeat. So when Roman Abramovich arrived at the bridge in the summer of 2003, times of course were very different. Since that takeover, the club has since won 18 major trophies, but it wasn't immediately all smooth sailing. Now this Boxing Day shock loss in 2003, again under Ranieri, was at the hands of Charlton Athletic. They dominated the game, taking the lead just 45 seconds in, leaving Chelsea with very little room for a comeback. Now this is technically not one game, but I couldn't finish the video without doing a major throwback to the greatest boxing day in English football history. In 1963, the explosive set of games produced a total of 66 goals. Yes, 66. There were some incredible results, like Fulham beating the then current champions Ipswich 10-1. Blackburn beat West Ham 8-2, establishing their top spot of the table. Liverpool thrashed Stoke 6-1. Spurs drew West Brom 4-0. Not your regular Premier League match day. One day I would love to see a repeat of Boxing Day madness like this. Well, there you have it. The top 10 greatest Christmas matches in Premier League history, ranging from 2013 all the way back to 1963. 50 Christmases later, let's hope for more exciting encounters this year. That's providing they go ahead, of course. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do you think I've missed any out? Do comment below and do let me know. This video was brought to you by kitbag.com, so do check out all their festive sales on the link below. As usual, I've also left you a discount code. Subscribe to my channel for more football content. Have a lovely Christmas and I'll see you in the next video.